viewers, my name's Cal here. As some of you might know, I carve sandstone. And as part of the requirements is that we need some breathing apparatus. Now this cautionary tale begins with two nosy policemen turning up on an unrelated matter and poking around my shed. And I guess this sign was a red rag to a bull. And what they did, without a warrant, mind you, was open this door, and the first thing they saw was a breathing apparatus. As you know, I carved sandstone. And the next thing they saw It's a Pyrex flask I use for my steam experiments. Here it is, hooked up. And if they looked hard enough, they would have found this bag of potassium carbonate, which is used for cold fusion reactions. So the next thing I know, this stuff is all the way around my shed and my house and they've declared it a crime scene. The poor silly buggers thought they'd found a drug lab. And I guess to the untrained eye, it probably looked damn well like one. So what happened next was I spoke to the detective and told her in detail the experiment that was set up there and what the white powder was for with the cold fusion reactions and described in every detail the setup I had and what was in my shed and three men in space suits came in poked around and walked out shaking their heads. I've got an apology from the detective and good luck with my experiments. And the whole fiasco ended. All in all, there was a fire truck, a hazmat truck, a forensics truck, and cop cars everywhere. All for a little bit of cold fusion reaction and steam cells. So let that be a lesson to you people. Don't let nosy policemen see your cold fusion reactor. They might think it's a drug lab.